Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos from your computer over to your phone. Check it out. Just before we get started, this video is intended to show you how to transfer your photos from your computer over to your Android phone. We do have another video that you can click on in the top right hand corner on that card and that will actually take you to the video where we're transferring from your phone, your Android phone, over to your computer. Before we get started, let's go over what you're going to need for this. Of course, you're going to want the device, such as your laptop or your desktop computer, to transfer the photos from. Of course, you're going to want the device that you're transferring the photos to. I will be using a Windows 10 PC and an Android phone. Uh, the Kindle Fire does have very similar instructions, but they do vary just slightly different, but overall they're the same. And then of course you're going to want the cable that usually came with the device because you know that it is a charge cable but it also is a data cable most importantly. So a lot of third party cables will charge a device but they actually will not allow you to transfer data. So once you've got those three items of course you're going to want to plug the end that goes into the computer into the USB and then of course you're going to want to plug the other end into your actual device. A couple things are going to happen. You may get a tone as you heard. Um, you also, if you have a password or a pin or anything like that to unlock the phone, you will need to type that in. That is required to unlock the phone um, and make the, the, the connection complete. You, it may also be prompted on the actual device, the phone or whatever it is, your mobile device, that you may need to allow the USB connection. You'll see what I mean when you plug it in. If it says deny or allow, make sure you click allow and that will make the full connection. Once you've done that, then it's going to come up under your mass drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a file explorer window. And under devices and drives, you will notice the actual device name is listed here. Go ahead and double left click on that. I need to type in my password. There we go. So as you can see, once I've typed in my password, it gave me the options to transfer to whichever storage I want. Uh, here's another thing that you're going to want to decide whether you want them on the card or the actual phone's internal memory. A lot of newer phones will not actually allow you to put a SD card because they don't have an SD card slot. Uh, if that's the case, then you will just be restricted to phone. If you do have a card, then you will have the card option. I'm going to put them on the card because that's where my default camera save location is going to be. So once we do that, we're going to go into card, DCIM, camera, and we're going to put them in here. We'll, we'll, re we'll revisit this folder a little bit later. So what we're going to want to do is now determine where we're actually taking your photos from. This is where things are going to differ a little bit because you might have them on an external drive. You may actually have them in the pictures folder. So determine where you're actually pulling these photos from. There's a few different ways you can actually select the photos that you want to move over. You can hold control and select individual ones like so. You can click and drag and anything within that blue square will be high or will be selected. You can do that method or you can hit control A which will, which will select anything in that folder. So if you want to be picking and choosing on which ones you want to move, use the control method. In today's video, I'm just going to click and drag which will highlight them blue indicating that they have been selected. And then there's two other ways that you can do this. You can right click, come on down to copy or if you have them selected like this, you can hit control C and that will do the keyboard uh, copy command. And then what we're going to do is we're going to want to paste them in the folder that you're going to be storing them on the mobile device. I would recommend doing a copy. Do not do a cut because the cut will take them. It'll cut them from this folder and paste them onto wherever you paste them. A copy will actually make an actual copy of it. So if you want to keep them on the computer and you want to have a copy on your mobile device, then use the copy method. If you don't want them on your computer anymore and you want them just strictly on mobile, you are more than welcome to use the cut command. So uh, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and select control C and then we're going to revisit the folder that we had earlier in order to paste these in the actual mobile folder. So if we go to again, Aaron's SA, you can usually see that the device will be over here on the left hand side. Click on that. I'm going to click on card, DCIM, camera, and then I'm going to go ahead and click control V, which is the paste keyboard, uh, keyboard command and that will actually make a copy and put them on the folder or you can right click and click paste as well. Either option, whatever works best for you, will actually paste them into that folder. Now what you're going to want to do is you can just close out of the window and then what you're going to want to do at this point is open up your mobile phone. So I'm going to unplug it and you can see right there that they are on the actual phone itself. So there's the other one. So. Pretty easy, easy tutorial, not too difficult. And like I said, this will work on typically any Android device, Windows computer, and then it will also work on the Kindle Fire and the Kindle Fire HD. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, give it a share, give it a thumbs up, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you next time.